Jennifer. You guys having fun? Yeah. I said, are you having fun? No, I said, are you having fun? No, really, are you guys having fun? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We gotta keep it going because they yelled at us because we do too much time in between. We are. But these this next couple I'm very excited to have. Not couple like sex. They're also having sex as these next two. <laughs> we don't know if they're gay, but if they are, we're open to it. We're very progressive. Um, <laughs> please give it up for the very funny Jeff Joseph and Seth Herzog, everybody. Oh my god. Oh. I love that you just yelled suck zone in the middle of the show and that was totally cool. <laughs> suck zone! She was like, yes! <laughs> and then Pete Lee didn't even comment on that. No. He was like, you guys are bonding. I was like, yeah, they're bonding over the suck zone. <laughs> so I'll, dick, bitch. I'll pay you for it! <laughs> you know what's funny? When we wrote that song, we had no idea it was going to be a hit. No. <laughs> no idea. That was like, suck my dick! That was, it's a G. At the last note is a G that no one ever hits. I'll pay you for it. Off. You gotta hold the right amount. Off. Oh my god, we're having fun. the black guy, I do the suck my dick bitch thing. Yeah. Because he's a Jew, he does, I'll pay you for it. Yeah. I do it regrettingly, though. You I'll can pay hear it in my it. voice. I'll pay you for it. I don't want to do it. Suck my dick bitch! I'll pay you for it. <laughs> That's how we wrote the song originally. I thought he was being a little aggressive, and I was like, I'll try and pull it back, but I don't like doing it. It's a hit. I don't like doing it. It's a hit, people. So, who's having the, the birthday of you three? Nobody? Just three ladies out on the town. Get off work at West, not West. Here we are. <laughs> Strawberry Marnies. <laughs> Just hanging out. All right. I thought I was like, an, I thought I was like, figured like, oh, someone's occasion. Just three beautiful women. Just hanging out. We're two. Well, I'm a good-looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> and me. And, and there's Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go on. Anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen. Then when he says that, he means anything. So don't be near bricks. Or <laughs> bricks? Yeah, yeah, I know what you do. How much time have you spent in jail? <laughs> no, that's actually it's actually not a racist question because I actually teach in jail. I rest my case. <laughs> I, I teach playwriting in jail because that's what these little felons need to get through their fucking head, the three act structure. <laughs> they need to know that. Yeah, teenagers in jail, the first thing they're like is, I can't wait to sign up for that playwriting class. <laughs> no one better stop me. I killed three people to take this playwriting class. <laughs> it is so in demand. And I got waitlisted. Yeah. <laughs> when you, the first thing, <laughs> when you teach them, are they like, don't give me that mammoth shit. <laughs> <laughs> mammoth shit. Seriously. No, I come in, I'm like, I'm gonna tell See, most of these kids who are in jail, they're in jail for like low level drug crimes, you know, because they're like little, like, uh, corner boys, like in the wire. <laughs> yeah, give them the one reference they know. Yeah. I know who I'm dealing with. You know? <laughs> and half of them haven't seen the wire. No, they all fake it. <laughs> How many of you have said a party, oh, I love the wire, it's the best, but never have seen an episode? I'm gonna say 35% of you fake like you've seen it. Yeah. Much like I do. I've never seen that show. It was but it's the best thing that's ever happened to television. <laughs> but then they made a white version of it. What's the white version of it? Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? That actually is the white version yeah. of the fucking white. I wasn't doing Game this. Of that Thrones. is real. That is real. It's the white version. They should have the same actors in Game of Thrones in the white. Yeah, they really should. You know, we've got this crack and we need to move it. <laughs> we need to move large groups of this. My leash. <laughs> I've come to DC, my leash. <laughs> that is good. What is the white version you're talking about? 
Uh, you know what that bald dude, Brian Cranston. Oh, Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> Malcolm X in the middle. No, <laughs> it wasn't Brian Cranston back in the middle. It was all about drugs. Wasn't the whole thing a fever dream because those kids weren't real? <laughs> it wasn't no fever. <laughs> oh, it was a crack dream. Oh, the crack, crack dream. dream. That's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all had a crack dream before, haven't you? Because we're gonna have one tonight. <laughs> What he means by that is when he's assaulting you, you can pretend it's not happening. Oh, did that get you real for all of you? We get real in this basement. This is where Hitler shot himself in the head. Nobody knows it, but this is the room. This is the room. This is the bunker. Had a mic too. It wasn't even booked. He was. He, what, what? It wasn't even booked. It was at a mic. No, it was at an open mic. No one even saw it. Except three comics who were looking at their notebooks. So you teach these kids? I teach these kids. And when I come in, I say, we're going to, you know, I'm, well, I'm going to teach you playwriting. And their first question is, because, you know, they used to sell crack. They're like, uh, do we get paid to write the plays? <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't get paid to write the plays. It's your homework. Do you get paid? <laughs> yeah, I get paid. I'm the teacher. Oh, 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 oh. So we locked in here writing your plays and you out there getting paid. I love that. You're going to make millions of dollars off their plays that they're going to make. Like I'm going back home to Harlem like... <laughs> yeah, I got these little bitches out there writing the island, right? <laughs> and they writing plays for me. <laughs> and I'm getting paid. That is so true. I also love that they think their plays are going to be any good, that they're going to be worth selling. You, you want to tell them? <laughs> By the way, yes, this was very good. This very was good. excellent. Very good. Very good. Raquan, who killed six people, right. this play is incredible. Sunny <laughs> Johnson, yeah. she would win a Pulitzer Prize. For like, they're in some kind of like, playwriting <laughs> trap house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my lord. So, who, this is a safe space. Who's going to vote for Trump? Anybody? One person in the one, back. One dude in the back. Now hold yourself, hold yourself back. No, 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 I want to hear what this motherfucker has to say. Because you realize if they get rid of all the Mexicans, who's going to have to do that shit? Me. I'm going to have to do all the stuff the Mexicans are doing right now. All well, of it? Well, no, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what's, what's your theory? I'm a cop and he's pro police, so... Okay. Okay. Are any of the candidates anti-police? Yeah. Is, is any candidate like, if I'm elected, yeah. I will disband the police departments one by one, and it's every man for himself. Yeah. I'll give every man an axe. Yeah. Yeah. I, every other candidate's running on the purge platform. <laughs> Crime is what it is. Save yourself. Everyone should buy a panic room. I think he's only pro police because if he wasn't, every he'd be dead. That's the only reason. I, they're all, everyone is. There's no candidate who's that who's super anti-cop, I feel like. Everyone that's, even de Blasio likes the cop. I mean, everyone likes the cops. Oh, did that get you real? Are you all friends of, friends of his? My applause, how many New Yorkers are here? He doesn't mean the state. He doesn't mean how many people drove down from Syosset or Yonkers. I mean, how many of you have yelled, suck my dick, bitch? <laughs> it's the same guy. It's the same, same guy. Same people. <laughs> they're, all from, they're all from Queens. <laughs> Everyone from Queens. Where are you from? What, what area? Yonkers. 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 I rest my case. They should stop Yonkers. That's all I know about Yonkers. They should stop Yonkers. <laughs> Oh, that's all you know is that you've, you've taken a train through it? Yeah, man. Station stop. Yeah, they won't let me get off. They won't let you? I tried to get you off a couple times. They won't let me get off. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what are they doing? Like, this this isn't for you. This isn't for you. This oh, isn't okay. for you. One more stop. One more stop. <laughs> One more stop in either direction. <laughs> That's great. What, why? And UK came down tonight. Did you drive? Yes. You drove. Yes, yes. Fancy pants. <laughs> you like tolls. <laughs> I, you don't like tolls. I, are you dating? Are you in a relationship? No, this is my wife. This is your wife. Yes. And you're still taking her out? <laughs> How long have you married? Like a year? Three. Three years. Yes. This is your yearly night out. <laughs> <laughs> it's an annual outing. We were out like last week. You were out last week. Oh, don't brag. <laughs> Bragging over here. Uh, this is twice this year. <laughs> this was <wasn't> good. <laughs> Fun. This is twice a year, pussy. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows it's true. Now I don't. No offense. No offense. But that's real. Fun. Um, I, I think my favorite, I love this primary, the race, I, uh, love to see who gets voted off the island every single week, because someone, someone gets, gets voted off. I really was upset when Jeb got voted off the island, because he was such a tragic character. Oh, was he such a tragic character? Terrible, the man. day he quit, the next day was a debate in Houston, and it was the only debate his parents showed up to. Do you know that? Remember that? They made a big deal about his parents being in the Houston debate. And he used to be like, Mom, Dad, I'm not going to be at the show. I'm not in the show. Like, yeah, we know. Uh, can you imagine having to deal with George W. at every dinner in his life? Jesus Christ. I don't care who's going to let him. You know, I'm actually going to miss Obama. Of course. Yeah, the, I'm miss him. the girls agree. A few others. Because when he got elected, that shit was historic. Yeah. For weeks afterwards, months afterwards, America was just patting itself on the back. Anytime you turn on a television, a black president, Bob. A black president. <laughs> what other country would do this? What other country? <laughs> Every country in Africa. Yeah. yeah. Tons of them. He got so much love for being the only black president that when he actually went to Africa, the other black presidents were hating on him. <laughs> but let's go, Obama! Big deal! I mean, you're not even president for life. <laughs> Is that how they all dance? That's how every black, every single black every president, African African president dance is part of the debate. I challenge you to a dance off! Oh. <laughs> To see. <laughs> no, America was very excited. It's very much patting itself on the back. The way I felt tonight when you decided to come tonight to perform, I was very excited to perform with a black guy. And and I was not his first black guy choice. You were the fifth choice. <laughs> Which means this is the one white guy in America with five black friends. <laughs> and I was number five. Yeah, well, you were the only one who got back to me. But I'll tell you something. <laughs> Well, this is this is this has been fun. This has been good, man. We didn't even get to any of the stuff we wanted to talk about. No, nah, right? It's all right, yeah. though. It's all right. I, I'm still sad about this Obama shit because you know, he, he, yeah. he, he didn't get everything he wanted done. Man. What else did he want to do? Yeah, you know, the reason why he didn't get the shit done because he's too soft spoken and it doesn't work for the brothers. Yeah, being soft spoken doesn't work for the brothers. I was just getting off the train right here, 14th Street, and I'm getting off the train. People standing in the doorway. I'm like, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Nobody, 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 nobody cares. Can I get out the train, please? Can I get out the motherfucking train, please? Right. One lady gave me her iPhone. She just gave you her phone? We she felt so bad for you couldn't get off off the train to give you a phone? Uh, something like that. I remember that now. I remember that now. I just been thinking, there's another one. And I didn't know it was you. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're having fun. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Let's give it up, Adrian. Oh my god, the Jeff and Joseph. Send her down. Wow. Holy shit!